Welcome back ladies and gents, back to the Celerity Esports once again. Tonight with some dark sky provided by, by the game official local time at Singapore. Yes, that's where we are today with 17 drivers out there. We are going to race and we are looking forward to tonight's race. Race 13 already, out of 16, so that's only 4 races to go. And the championship of course not decided, still very spectacular, so... Um, yeah another uh, race to look to, to be looking forward to so i hope uh, to see some good racing again weather predictions it will be a dry dry session or quali in the race a little rain expected in the beginning not pretty much will uh, clear into dry weather later on in the race of course the weather settings the forecast accuracy is set at the input to approximate so it still can change a little bit but uh, we are already racing with with this setting for for quite a few races and yeah, it doesn't change that that much but so but you, you never say never so uh, let's see how that goes but, uh, a dry quality session on the dry tires let's take some telemetry with us some lap data as well, track map and best tire result Chobi Energy Destructor coming through last turn first To shears and then for me personally only the yeah the only overtaking possibility at this circuit if if the pace is high drivers will follow in the DRS train this race oh energy disruptor lost his uh, lost his rear end there Hit it to walls a little bit. Luckily, he kept he kept it a little a little bit, and uh, he could save it. There shall be uh, small damage, I think, for him, or is it not? Then he's very lucky. Behind him, Jacob, Pasty, or it's Sneaky Tomitz, Jacob. will be the next uh, driver who's going to score something purple second sector by him approaching bay uses a lot of curb on the inside it's uh, can be faster if you do it like that into six gear coming through last turn with a 137.1 good lap by him energy destructor of course that wasn't the fast lap there after he hit the wall a little bit still he carried on to do a bank lap that's uh, surprisingly to see also did not uh, enter the pit so that there, there wasn't uh, damage for energy destructor then T Mike second place. Hey Tismo who's back uh, back alive. Didn't see him for a while. Reserve driver now for Mercedes today. 137.2 for him. And then as five turns, sorry it's not, it's his teammate. Also reserve Johan. <laughs> One of our veterans of the league. Scoring P9. Strong driver for this division. Not uh, the fastest lap for this moment. A few of them. Luki also not the prettiest lap. <laughs> Lost his front wing completely. But that was maybe after that lap. I don't know. So <coughs> Sneaky Tom on lucky number 7. Then we will see uh, a few pit stops again, of course. Drivers will grab another set of tires. We'll try it again. We will see a lot of softs 
tires today, I, I, I think. And I, I'm really not sure uh, about the strategy over here today because I, I have a feeling that it could be a two stop. I do remember that tire wear was is very high at this circuit, you need to find something, reduce pressure in the tires a little a little to uh, avoid the temperature going insane but this circuit is a tire eater uh, Adam is out by the way I don't know what happened to him comes Lucky will grab a new front wing also new tires new driver in town I think Ivanko Ivanko the 2016 behind it but let's call uh, him Ivanko from uh, U Ukraine uh, our second second U Ukrainian driver in our history We had one before in uh, our previous top tier, but uh, he's the second one and he is will drive for CL2, start uh, as reserve for Alpine team, but he just chosen this uh, this team, so uh, today we'll drive for Alpha Tauri. Nobody in a, in a hot lap at the moment. We are watching Dirk coming first to start a, another another attempt. It's not having a valid time yet, but there it goes into Shears. Approaching Memorial Corner with a purple middle, se uh, sorry, first sector. Another purple sector. This is the middle one. Our leader from this division. So can he take over a provisional pole from race of 24 hours? He's holding already a fast one, 36.6. But there comes. Dirk through last turn, P7, 8 tenths removed from uh, from Racer. So Racer very fast over here, don't know where he found that, it's 5 tenths removed from uh, from Jacob Paced at the moment. Why can't I, sorry, Racer 24. fourth place in the championship and don't shut him out it's still uh, a contender for for the title as I said championship leader Dirk leading uh, this league by 145 points in the meantime Jacob Pasty took him over with a 136.5 and got himself three purple sectors phenomenal lap by Jacob 
A racer now going for his hot lap, but first I think an NS fighter or Johan. An NS is uh, coming for a lap, and this is going to be a valid one. It's going to be P3. Seven tenths removed from the leader, a 137.2. Then a, a, a Haas of Energy Destructor with a 137.7. There's a gap of 1.2. Not the prettiest lap. Maybe not his favorite, favorite circuit. Lee Meister, I think he just st has stolen the third place with a 137 point dead. Driving very well lately. Driving very well. That's a good time by him. Still five tenths, but I think if you are driving uh, below, uh, close to 137, so, uh, 136, of course, that's a ver that's very good. Sneaky Tom to the last turn, S stealing uh, one or two places. Four tenths removed from his personal best. T Mike taking over the lead with a 135.8, ladies and gents. This is so great by him is the track uh, evolution insane over here or uh, I don't know I think that's pole position <laughs> but never say never again because uh, maybe uh, somebody can take it over or him and himself what a great lap by him There comes our new, dri new driver, already holds 139.7, but he's going to be faster now. P13, 138.4. Good first laps, I think, for, uh, for Ivanko. Luki also going for an improvement. Seems like he's going to steal the position from Ivanko, or he can steal even more. Also, a uh, position from See You Later as well. 137.8 for Luki. Immediately a little, little bit cutting, but not too much. <clears throat> so, one more, I think one more attempt for Sneaky Tom. Yeah. That's one uh, one attempt. Four and a half minutes left. But back to the ranking boards because Dirk was on 145 points, and he's followed by uh, his always rival Team Mike uh, with 136 points, so a nine-point gap. And who's also uh, sharing the second position with uh, Mike is Hachi, who is doing brilliant lately, scoring quite a few podiums, also a win. So uh, both nine points behind Dirk, and then Racer, like I said, he's on 110 points, holding fourth place in the championship. So only 35 points. Maybe it's still a dream then to steal the championship, but it always can happen. Uh, one of your rivals is not going to score points, and then it's suddenly uh, really close there comes Dirk again drivers are moving aside this time a little bit wider at turn 5, if I'm right. Yeah, that's turn 5.
and that's a purple sector for Dirk in the middle sector again didn't he had it before as well I thought he had and then his result wasn't that that spectacular maybe he lost it at uh, the last sector then missed out on that so Dirk again he needs to do something about team Mike who is now uh, walking away P4 that's already closer still look at this still look at this 1.1 <laughs> 1 .1 second behind his uh, his closest rival is this going to be T Mike land Mike driving away from uh, from everybody else in this race really his his circuit for me personally it has always been my favorite circuit before don't drive myself really often anymore I've driven myself one race this season in CL1 I'm doing a lot of commentary lately but I will be back I will be back so also uh, I'm Marina Bay street circuit back to uh, let's see an NS fighter didn't improve himself but is sticking a lap after it immediately going for a second lap on the softs uh, Jacob Pasty outlap sneaky Tom outlap as well so Jacob started his his hot lap and then Ivanko coming through last turn in pipe tech seat so has to do the job today let's see if he can uh, do a brilliant first race for the celerity Ooh, an NS fighter went wide there, so another lab destroyed. Rubber Dodo coming through last last turn, invented as well, so it's not going to improve himself. I'm sorry, it was Lee Meister who uh, was crossing the finishing line, but still, uh, what I said, Rubber Dodo invented. It's now uh, finished as well, so we'll start P15. All right, who's still uh, still in the in it? This racer coming, racers over there. Dirk's finished. Jacob is still right behind the uh, racer now. Racer who hold down. Jacob Pasty, I think, as well or not? Or is he taking a slipstream over here? I think Jacob still in a lap. But that's an invalid lap by him now. Racer broke down already. Who's going to do it then? I think that's it. And another pole position for Team Mike. score his third pole position uh, today I think that that it, it was it because Lee Meiser approaching the pit lane at this moment and that's the end of this session So Dirk is maybe not having what he what he wanted, or what he what he planned before this this qualification session. Anyways, he's on P6, needs to find his way through at a circuit where overtaking could be hard, where walls are really close to make accidents quickly. And like I said, we will have rain provided by uh, by the weather gods at the beginning of this race so no tire rules there we will start probably on intermediates and everybody is equal at that point and also rain of course is way different than 
than a dry circuit and racing under those circumst circumstances. But uh, Team Mike with a 135.879 uh, scoring pole position, his third one for Celerity. Race at 24 hours on P2. Atismo and Jacob forming second row. Lee Meister to Dirk, third row. And Nanes and Haley, fourth row, fifth row by Brother Adam and Sneaky Tom. Those drivers normally would have uh, a no tire choice anymore after they qualified at top 10. But like I said, these races. This race will uh, start with dry circumstances, so intermediates will be chosen. And we'll have to wait for uh, a few seconds to start our formation lap. Still dark sky, but uh, with a little little drips. Yeah, we have to watch, we have to see uh, how much spray the cars will give. Because that's quite important for how soon it will dry up. I think there will be a little spray there. Track seems quite wet. Not too much spray maybe. I mean drivers can see each other at least at for spectator mode so maybe it's going to dry up soon enough and then uh, yeah everything could change because drivers will make a pit stop but for now it's saying uh, to do a one or two stop and changing for inters only So they are thinking uh, it, it will stay, it was it, it will stay wet over here and it'll keep raining. But I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know, of course, but uh, I don't think so. For my feeling, it will dry up. We will have uh, some fun. Hilly, winner from last race, his first victory, beautiful one, he was very happy with it, it was uh, I think his goal for this season and he has done it at race 12, I think 5th at the rankings, so having a, a brilliant season as well. Mercedes of brother Adam spun a little bit during formation lap can't have damage during formation lap by the way so uh, he's lucky with that but uh, don't need to happen in race <laughs> then it's race over I hope he has got him that he has got it under control and that he has uh, thought about his setup but yeah like I said if it will dry up quickly then uh, a wet setup is useless so maybe it's just biting through the hard part of this race a little rain and then uh, end up with high speeds I mean higher speeds well let's go the grid is forming up again with 17 drivers on it Milan who uh, redeemed his quali bomb given to him by taking out uh, Team Mike last week something happened between them but he redeemed it it's now penalty free starting from behind this race the 13th race of celerity in season 3 the lights are off right now and the match is on immediately and this is a hard start for the drivers a Red Bull going wide off rubber uh, sorry Lee Meister and there it is, turn one. Seem to go quite fine. 
little wiggle wiggle and not much speed in it still cold tires need to kick in the temperature Dirk already uh, gained two places I think and is already behind T-Mike who lost two places at the lead there race 24 hours now in the lead a Tismo behind him right behind him as well Ivanko I think also gained a few places seven places gained by Ivanko doing brilliant at his start Milan with a fight between him and Hilly need to be careful not losing his front wing but that went well Ivanko and Luki in the fight this is the spray I was talking about there is a little spray with dirty air that sometimes will not feel nice we're really chasing down on Luki once more places of energy destructor who's uh, wingless needs to make a pit stop right away I think uh, brother Adam also uh, in trouble maybe didn't have it under control over here with the rain but carry on mate it's a long race to go 31 laps and a street star circuit everything can happen over here just make a pit stop don't be frustrated but I think uh, a part of that this is a good start let's get back to some racing Jacob Pace the P5 Austin Martin Sneaky Tom also on P7 that lucky number 7 I think he also qualified no sorry he did started on P10 so gained 3 places there Ivanko and Milan now in the fight so Ivanko now lost a place again Milan now with the most places gained 8 by him took it over from Luki, oh sorry Ivanko <laughs> this is maybe the fight for driver of the day gaining the most places, most overtakes So, Mike, not with a brilliant start today. Lost two places, but maybe yeah, it, it, it seemed like uh, the start was quite okay, but maybe his first two turns weren't perfect, where he immediately lost one, two places. He's now about uh, almost five seconds behind Racer already. Who's having a phenomenal pace? A Tismo as well, still following it by 1.1. Milan with a little weavy, but keeping it centered. Now wants to have a position on Luki. This is the place where you need to do it. Good exit in the slipstream. He's close enough but like I said the dirty air will cost you your overtake because then it's not enough anymore and Luki can defend all the way but going too wide over there but what are you doing Milan virtual safety car that's what what happened what happened then it's energy destructor who didn't finish gone out if I'm pronouncing that right turn 14 of this circuit just 
So first, first virtual, first virtual safety car. Dirk uh, probably needs to lift a little bit. He had uh, a bigger gap. There it is again. So first retirement, energy destructor after three laps. Only provide uh, cost a virtual safety car. And there we go again. Can he get back in that second again? There he is already eight tenths. Good response by Dirk. Milan also chasing on Luki. You can have a retry at, uh, after turn 5. No oversteer this, this mo if he doesn't uh, score over oversteer this moment then uh, he will get it. Good exit again in the slipstream. Easy on the throttle. Steers again a little uh, oversteer but... Again, he can't do it. Yeah, own fault, own fault by Milan. Wanted it too much. I, he hit it him. Needs to be careful. Uh, oh, oh, Hilly. Oh, Hilly, that's... Uh, I don't know, that's something you shouldn't do really mate. There was definitely brake checking, looked like it. Yeah, Milan had to lift there and that was really dangerous what he did. Could end his race immediately, so I understand his frustrations but then Re 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 releasing the throttle or, or hit hitting the brakes that's something that we don't want to see in Slarity. anyways that's uh, Stewart's case that's only what I uh, just witnessed let him race again I don't know about damage or if Milan will uh it's the T Mike for a pit stop also 8 Tismo and race at 24 hours heading for pits Already for dry tires, there it is. Hard tires chosen by Racer and Atismo. Mike going for mediums. It's dry. Will it be slippy? That's the question. Racer back on track at fifth position. Yeah, that seems. Uh, this seems. Yeah, this is good. There's traction. Everybody needs to make it to pit fast now. Ivanko and Milan going for softs. Hilly for mediums. Is in front of Milan after uh, he pitted. Hope they don't uh, do silly things to each other again. So. Dirk and Jacob, <laughs> the fight for the lead, still on Inters, will make a pit stop soon and will lose probably a lot of time. Let's see if Racer can, can pass uh, Luki easily now. There it is, traction difference. It is. What a good call by uh, also the previous leader, Racer 24 hours to pit already because Luke, look at this, closing in on everybody so soon. 3.6, 3.4, 3.2. This is seconds per lap. Of course, still his rival uh, for today is behind him, so also pitted and did the same, did the same like him. Around the outside, easily back in the lead, race 24 hours. But for Dirk, I mean, this is quite unfortunate and. Uh, it could cost him many places after his fight with T-Mike because look at this. 
will sneak its own pass as well because he also had a good call yes he will look sneak it on b4 because he had a good call <laughs> and he will be quite happy with this one and focus now for the for the for the entire race also Ivanko on p5 with fresh soft for a two stop over here today And Hilly and Milan founded each other again. This seemed like a good move by Milan. More traction in those uh, in those softs than uh, mediums from Hilly at the moment. They added that uh, the third DRS zone. But it's so short, still overtaking is hard, like on the straight, on the pit straight. It's really after turn five, that straight with a little bend, turn six, into Memorial Corner. That's the way where you could do it. But you need to aim for it, like we already saw. Yeah, this is quite a loss for Turk, who's now uh, quite behind T Mike, where he was fighting with, and he that it it, it was the man he needed to fight with. Maybe he could have made that, that pit stop already because he, well, he just passed it and then uh, need to do one extra lap. And Mike maybe, I don't know, or was Dirk just, yeah, they were fighting together so then they both uh, had the option I, I guess. And then Dirk was really thinking that uh, the pace was still on the wet tires. But for now, some good racing. An NS fighter with a three second time penalty for multiple warnings, just like Robert Dodo. Accept them. Everybody still penalty free. Uh, as I was speaking about it, Jacob Pasty took a, a three second time penalty as well. Oh no, 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 no. This is Dirk. Yeah, it looked again like 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 last week. For my opinion, that he outbraked himself. Still in, uh, in discussion with the stewards about one case last week where he uh, had failure on Silverstone. With new tires, but that's also uh, still a stupid case. But uh, I'm uh, wondering what he would say about this one. It's now I'm back on P10. I, I pray for him that he uh, doesn't got damage. It seems like he's fine with that. He's now behind his teammate. Maybe some team orders there. Haley will move aside maybe for him. Aston Martin also going strong now. Jacob behind Sneaky Tom. Sneaky Tom on harder tires, by the way. But Jacob got that penalty at the final turn. Going too wide across the curbs. An NS fighter smelling fresh blood. 
Stefanko. Still the rookie. But doing brilliant, really. It's, uh, that's, he got some lines. It's a solid driver, I think. There it comes, an Ennis fighter around the outside before turn one. Maybe Ivanko did that a little bit too slow. Also, Milan passed him, but uh, with a little bit of contact. So I hope it didn't cost it uh, in damage or something. Now needs to defend Ivanko, but having a lot of overspeed already, I think Ivanko will not make that one. So in a split second Ivanko lost two places there on Ananas who was really uh, really fast on these tires. One uh, compound harder but great pace. Jacob already passed Sneaky Tom. Pulling the gap. But that could change later. We are at lap 9. 9 beautiful laps already. Passing Ivanko who is going to make a pit stop I guess after three laps. Is he having damage then? That would be really unfortunate for his race today. Also Lee Meister took a penalty now. Will we have a wing change or not? He is not having it. His tires are really destroyed after three laps. That's what I said. His setup is probably not on, not on point. Not a as you would have it wanted on this track anyways he needs to pit after only driven three laps on softs three or four laps and then uh, for the medium so i don't know if he will make another 21 on these tires that would be uh, another pit stop for him johan also in a three second time penalty five drivers scored scored it already Rubber Dodo, can he fight today <laughs> with Johan then? Johan who really can be uh, an awesome driver on, uh, on quite a few circuits. From Robert Dodo. Outbreak. Johan. Not going too wide. Good move by Robert Dodo. Passing Johan. And now has got himself 33 seconds in front of him. Until Ivanko. Oh, Johan. It looked like uh, he did go too wide. Almost into the walls. But uh, that didn't happen, luckily. He can carry on. It's probably not a circuit as well. Maybe for many. Milan with. Five laps of tires. I think these are also on some circuits, these are still new, but it's not the case on this circuit. After five laps, you have wear soft tires, probably. But for Milan, they are still fine. Sneaky Tom now defending an NS fighter. And also for the lead there is going to be a fight. 
between Racer and Mike, who are both still penalty free. There it comes. Razor also bursting a lot of ERS. Wants to keep it. Of course he, ca he kept it. Can he still break in deep? No he can't. This is the lead for Team Mike. Brilliant fight between these, these gents. Razor really defended himself all the way. For now Sneaky Tom still kept an NS fighter behind him for a half lap at least. Sneaky Tom is an experienced driver driven with the celerity for uh, all the seasons also the Dutch league before it was also part of uh, of the crew quickly and never left it anymore so really part of the celerity of course Nicky Tom also a champion from the first season of celerity so when we went international and we were named Celerity Esports, that first season he uh, was on fire, Sneaky Tom. And he found his form again, really. He lost it at the beginning of, the, of this new game. But he uh, is enjoying himself again. It's going better and better for him. Good results. Ups and downs, of course, like any F1 driver. There comes Dirk on the inside at the longest straight of this circuit. Move on Milan and it's uh, a job done. That's again a good exit uh, by Sneaky Tom. He's under pressure but still not collapsing or something. Not making mistakes yet. Do not want to jinx him. An NS fighter needs to be careful for track limits. Seems like he may have picked up another one. Oh, it's Autismo out of this race. What happened? At pit straight, I think at last turn, maybe he just spun away. I really don't know what happened to him. Uh, I didn't see his car standing on track, so maybe it was in the pits, I don't know. But what I do know is that he was going for maybe a podium today, a good result, Dr was dri driving third. Still uh, not a safety car yet, but I'm happy I'm happy with that one. Also Lee Meister out of the race, missed out on that one. It is more will get passed by the remaining three dri drivers behind him. And then we will have three drivers out and then still 14 remaining. Oh, Mike took a five second time penalty for ignoring the yellow flag. Don't know what happened and that may be unfair or not.
So we will see if he will send it in. <laughs> then we will know enough. I think he will. Or maybe he was just too fast under the future safety car and then it's really your own fault. So the drivers who are still in it, that's Jay, Jacob Pasty, Ananas Fighter, Ivanko and Johan who are having 3 second time penalty. T Mike just scored a 5 second time penalty for um, yeah, ignoring yellow flags, didn't uh, said he speeded under it, under the uh, virtual safety car, but maybe that's just the outcoming of it and that's what the message is saying if you are doing or if you are driving too fast on the, the yellow flags, I don't know. We will find out after the race. So, uh, but yeah, probably he will all then finish maybe first. He will definitely will still uh, race until the end, of course. But it may will cost him a few places, and it can cost him a few days for the final result of the stewards will come out, and then we will know who's the winner of this race. But so uh, for now, I just ignore this penalty, and let's still uh, watch this race between Team Mike and Racer 24 Hours, who are the fastest of them all. 17 seconds removed from Jacob Pasty after that 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 pit stop to the dry tires, and they are flying for sure. Here. That could be a gap for Milan. Trying to drive another line and see you later. That's the, the thing you need to, to do. And has got this part to do it. No oversteer this time. This could be the move. There it comes. Milan around the outside. Call it given by see you later, but not more. Good move by Milan. He did the job there, stealing eighth place. And now uh, has got quite a big gap in front of him, where he needs to drive uh, drive away. Tires from 81 lap younger than from his teammate Dirk. Who's now chasing and putting pressure on an NS. And Sneaky Tom still defending it, still doing the job. They still got quite some energy left. He's managing his, uh, his earth system well. It's okay. But look how close, it's now Dirk. So Ananas into the pits and then both Alfa Romeos chasing down on Sneaky Tom. Defending Aston Martin points over here because uh, behind Jacob, Aston Martin looking brilliant. And there comes the fight between Sneaky Tom and Dirk. And still Sneaky Tom who could defend him. He knows what he's doing today. Dirk needs to try at a different spot.
another try for Dirk. It's close, it's close. It's going to be Dirk time. Can he break? Outbreak Tom. He couldn't. But this is not over yet. There comes Dirk. Uh, Sneaky Tom now really uh, burst at ERS. And Dirk, because he's chasing on him with a slipstream effect, he still has half battery, battery left. That could be problems for Sneaky Tom soon. Is now having DRS together with ERS. And there comes the overspeed. It's wrong side chosen by Dirk. Sneaky Tom defended the inside to the to the left side to the walls. So and he did it did it very legally still in front of Dirk. The gap was on the on the right hand side of Sneaky Tom, but that's uh, the side that Dirk chosen later at, at the turn. So still no uh, overtake from Dirk, what really uh, could be a job already uh, done. But he will have another try. T Mike again into the pits after 12 laps, driven on medium tires. What will we grab? Grab another set of mediums? Yes, it is. Wow, he had to serve that time penalty under normal con con conditions, so that really will cost him 5 seconds. And if no safety car enters this race later on, then it's really five seconds lost. And if the penalty was unfair given to him at, in first place, then Stewart could remove five seconds. But if safety car comes now, then it would be unfair again to remove those five seconds because at safety car conditions, many things changes and drivers could close gaps. So yeah, of course, sometimes drivers will lose uh, probably a few positions because of it. But yeah, what's the most fairest thing to do? You also can't do the other thing to remove it at that point. But again, I'm uh, just spect spectacular now, so... Uh Speculating, I'm sorry. Yeah, back on P3, driving with clean air in his own land. Dirk, who, uh, sorry, I just missed out on that one. Sneaky Tom needed to give in to Dirk. He's now splitting up off a Romeo. But still on P5. Don't know about his tires. If he can still hold on uh, a few laps, maybe he can do. Yeah, it's still too far away to grab soft tires. But it's still picking the mediums. I don't know. Can you make it till the end? Still 11 laps to go. It's a long way to go. Needs to be careful now for the other Alfa Romeo as well. Illy wants to follow his, his teammate Dirk. Four points for Alfa Romeo. If we are looking to construct a championship, by the way, in the meantime. It's still Alfa Romeo in the, in the lead, of course, with 239 points. Leading uh, above Mercedes team, 193 points from Hachi and brother Adam so yes Dirk fighting for the title and both Dirk and Hilly fighting for that championship constructor title 
I think that's the remaining goal for for Healy this season who already achieved his first goal to win a, a race and he did it last week Had a little moment today with uh, with Milan, what still will be discussed. But luckily they both uh, carried on and also lost their frustrations because we are witnessing a brilliant race for this circuit. T Mike with the fastest lap and now Racer into the pits. He grabbed softs. Will he make it to the end on these softs? 10 laps? It's doable then if you are having a brilliant strategy but if we looked at uh, who was it again was it I yeah, Ivanko who making a lot of pit stops today three pit stops already sorry not penalties stops four stops already <laughs> and uh, three for Adam yeah like I said Ivanko's uh, time management is crazy Oh, Racer also took uh, his three seconds. And T-Mike now penalty free. Behind him again. This could maybe... Uh, Mike is really on fire today. Also racer of course, but also if we already watched the, that lap, the pole position lap from T Mike is faster than everybody today. 135.6. If I was right. I'm definitely really close. There comes T Mike. Of course he wants to fight race at 24 and there it comes. Chosen the inside. Can Jacob outbreak him? He still keeps it on the inside. But then it's a job done by, by Mike, who's having of course benefits of the newer tires. But Jacob didn't make it too easy for him. Now 1.6 gap to Racer. And what Racer needs to do is make it till the end and drive away for at least 3 seconds. And maybe even 5 seconds more, what I, what I already explained to you guys. Purple second sector for Racer 24, he's aiming for fastest lap now. Slab one thirty eight point six eight three for the Ferrari. Robo Dodo was the fourth driver out of this race. But uh, for now we, have, we are having a very clean race. 
of course this is a circuit where we don't where we will not see too many action but we've seen some moves but it's a very decent race for now until the end now lap 23 There is a spun from who is it? Is it brother Adam? Brother Adam in in the walls a little bit. Just behind Bay, turn twenty one. So a new wing for uh, Adam again, a new set of tires, maybe we'll try to uh, steal that fastest lap from Racer, if he's fast enough today, because it's not the circuit for, for brother Adam, we already could see that a little bit at the beginning, maybe in quality session as well. Another 3 seconds for NNS Fighter, that would be 6 seconds already, yes it is. Dirk now driving away from Sneaky Tom, 3.3 seconds. Who is defending Hilly, of course. They are equal paced at the moment. Maybe Hilly could drive a little bit faster, but this is because he's still behind Tom. And I think this is uh, max effort for Tom. Just defending that fifth place today. And yeah, always something could happen in front of you. Something could fall away, and then you could grab some more points. Respect for Adam carrying on. I know you could still uh, do some practice laps if it's a circuit where you're not doing well. How can how can you do better? Yeah, well, practice of course. So why not do some extra laps just to practice them? Also in a league, yes. If you're not making trouble to others and only to yourself. I mean, not causing safety cars, of course, and uh, hitting the walls. I mean, just doing proper laps. What will make you more experienced on each circuit. That's what makes you a faster racer. Johan and Ivanko just behind the points. Nah, not just as 41 seconds behind the points, but I mean, first speaking about their positions, it's only one and two places behind. See you later. Jacob, three second time penalty for multiple warnings. Just pass Hilly with a beautiful move I think because it was on a, on a crazy spot to do it of course with a, a huge tire difference and then it's so doable because look how he dri is driving away now chasing down on sneak Tom probably team orders over here and sneak Tom is going to move aside for Jacob but not too much, so not losing too much himself, because then he needs to fight Hilly again, where he was just away from, out of that second. So that's smart 
smart from Tom to not go aside immediately maybe because he would have lost too much and would have nearly on his neck again what will make it easy to, to save ERS again maybe Jacob would have want, wanted it a bit faster move aside a little bit faster but I understand this one and it was fast enough for my opinion he did it well going a little bit wider for just one turn For now, it's Razor 24 hours on the positive side by only a small two tenths. Has got himself three seconds of penalty. Is now equal. Yeah. Look at this 3.1, 3.0. With six laps to go, I think Mike will take the longest leash. Pull the longest leash. And then. can win this race there comes Jacob Pasty needs to go around the outside before turn one Dirk pushing him a little wide so Jacob went off track because of it anyways still uh, it was a battle there and Jacob now on third place with three second time penalty so he needs to drive away now for, from Dirk if he wants to grab a podium today if he is capable of driving away for three seconds and I think he is because a lot of tire difference there and then we will see Jacob at the press press conference but can they make more mistakes I think uh, Milan just passed Hilly indeed and Luki and see you later also with a fight on the straight Luki for uh, P9 see you later was already on 10 so I think he uh, they switched positions twice first oh no see you later no 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 went too wide on the steer maybe some damage is he going to cause a safety car yes he is Oh, that wasn't the smartest move maybe uh, <laughs> he hit the throttle it looked like damage a lot of oversteer not on purpose but I don't know so almost uh, a clean sheet today <laughs> and then and there it is safety car and I think not everybody is happy with this one It's okay, see you later. Uh, we saw it wasn't on purpose, but it's in the, in the wall where I expected drivers were going in at the at the start of the race when it was still raining. <laughs> but um, it was a late a late incident, but always can happen, of course. And on Singapore on a circuit like this, we did expect the safety car to be honest. Yeah, you had to be in it in this safety car, but uh, sorry, mate. Next next week, better. You were fighting for that that last point, but uh, will not grab it today. But for some reason, our uh, brother Adam is on 10th place, <laughs> so we'll uh, have at least one attempt for that point. I think on you on behind them as well. We'll be a bit closer behind them as well, so. We'll see how that goes and we will grab the final point today. Now five drivers are out. Jacob already having six seconds, he says. So that uh, indeed could kill him if because his pace now his advantage is missing with the soft tires against the others
Yeah, but that's a what that those are warnings, mate. Warnings that you did grab yourself and uh, your opponents who probably will pass you were still clean. But with Phil four laps to go, they could be close to his, their first penalty as well. Also for race, so 24 hours. That safety car maybe wasn't pretty. He re really needs to be outpacing T Mike now if he wants to win it. Because then he needs to drive away for about a second per lap. Sorry, Jens needed to go to the toilet a little bit, but I just uh, was seeing uh, a good battle between Luki and Ananas fighter. <coughs> Race at 24 hours, who was still in the lead after that restart. But uh, with penalty, will lose from Team Mike today. But they want to settle this on track, maybe. He didn't finish. What happened to him then? So only at the end it got a little bit... Uh, there were some issues, some problems. But a very solid race today. 
there's that final lap racer 24 hours will pass at first but then because of his penalty will drop down second T Mike with another win brilliant job by him good points for his uh, championship title maybe Jacob will we hold P3 is spinning through last turn maybe a little bit unnecessary anyways it's still not finished either I think he just spun away there uh, on the throttle too soon so then we will have Dirk on podium and that's damage limitation because it's only 10 points behind T Mike as we all know that they had a gap of 9 seconds that's that will be only uh, one second gap between them if I'm right Milan P4 and Haley 5 Sneaky Tom cost it I'm sorry that safety car cost it Sneaky Tom two places so maybe not ideal for him would have wanted that safety car to stay out anyway still uh, good points for Aston Martin both Jacob and uh, Sneaky Tom scored points Jacob could have uh, a lot more after that spin through last turn he lost about uh, three or four places maybe but it's Mike again with another win It's only his second win and he's so high on the tables. So it's really a podium scorer scorer and, and uh yeah, really having uh great points this season. But that's not over yet between him and Dirk. Hutchie really had to miss out on it today, would be gutted with that. Was also uh Involved between these gents. A fast slap today by Racer 24 hours 137.664. Picked up one extra point with it. And T Mike with the win and Dirk. So let's invite them to my press conference. Let's see uh, what they have to say. Sorry, first I have to open up the showroom. So give me a few, a few seconds and then uh, I'll arrange it. We'll have a small window to talk. Winners cars on the podium. Where's the McLaren over here? Alright guys, they are invited. I think only two of them will join me. Race 24 hours. His English is not uh, the prettiest. He's from, from French. He's, oh, sorry, he's from, from France. He's a French uh, driver. I think these days the only driver left from France in our uh, in celerity. Who joined my party already? I'm here already. Yo, Mike, congratulations on your second win, if I'm right. Yeah, thanks. 
This is only your second win and you are still having uh, a lot of points. So you are very used to scoring podiums. But the wins are not that often yet. So how does it feel to uh, to win again? Yeah, it's great. Uh, didn't expect that, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I didn't count with, with so much rain today. I thought we start on soft. My setup uh, was completely on soft. Uh, yeah, but in the end it, it came out good. I saw that uh, Racer is going to pit to for softs. And this, this was, I think, 11, 11 laps before the end. And I thought, yeah, this, this is going to be a little, a little bit heavy for softs. And yeah, congrats to, to Dirk too. Uh, racer also. What can I say? Yeah. Yeah, Dirk Didn't also. Uh, <laughs> Dirk also uh, scored a, a late podium indeed. Yeah. What yeah. I want. What I want to say after today, there's only one point difference between you and Dirk. That's yeah, a, yeah, I recognize that, that. That's an advantage for you, Mike. But um, yeah, how how is it going to be? Are you uh, really are going for it now together with Dirk? Because Hachi uh, today he was absent, of course. He was also uh, equal yeah. with you before before this race. So don't yeah. sh don't shut him out, of course. But um, I think after the today it's really yeah between you guys. I think. Yeah, it can. He can be tough till the end. I think that there's more. There's three races to go, but racer is also. Above above 100, he scored today 18, 19 points. Brazil He's... left, Saudi Arabia left, and Imola left. Yeah. Are these right. uh, are these going to be favorite circuits or? Yeah, uh, Brazil Brazil is is one of my favorites. Uh, Saudi Arabia I drove two three laps till now, <laughs> and Imola also didn't almost practice I I I need to find a little bit more time <laughs> in coming weeks right so you still need to sit down for it at that final two races yeah let's see what's happened <laughs> yeah mate well enjoy your second win today and make thank it, you and make it excited excited for us will you yeah thanks cheers you too mate let's go to Dirk Hey man. I made third place today. I think you did not expect that one. Am I right? No, no, not at all, man. <laughs> it was a, it was a late one. I think Jacob paced the uh, spun away through last turn. He had a six second p penalty, of course. That would also uh, cost him his podium, probably. But um, yeah, I didn't expect you to be there. You had one in uh, little incident where you lost uh, a few places luckily no damage so you could carry on and then you brought yourself uh, back at p3 where you belong i think tell me about <laughs> your tell me about your race today yeah it was a tough one actually yeah as you say i crashed in the first corner and i was so angry man but yeah i couldn't do more i was really lucky as you mentioned uh, no ha having no damage so i just kept going and also um, Healy let me go, so that was also a key moment because Nikki Tom was also defending pretty well in there. And I think also the key factor was the safety car, man. It just gave me those uh, seconds to, to go ahead. And it was, I really didn't expect that. I'm really happy to be here. Yeah, I heard it's a one point difference now, so uh, oh, it's exactly, going to be yes. a tough one. <laughs> yeah, because uh, there are only three, laces, three races left. So that's uh, 75 points without fastest lap that you could score. So of course everything can still happen because you know how it works over here. One run race could uh, cost you your championship title. But uh, yeah. it's, it's so excited like it always has been uh, the seasons before. So congrats to you guys for uh, still making our celerity name brilliant. Thank you very much, man. But mate, last question for you. Yes. Yeah, I told you it was damage limitation for for you, but um, how are how, how are you on street circuits? I thought maybe this wasn't your favorite circuit today. So how is it going to be on Saudi Arabia? 
I'm actually liking it a lot, man. Uh, I hated Vietnam, but now I tried this one, um, and I like it a lot, the corner combination. I have really high hopes for it. <laughs> so you also had some time on, on that circuit as well? Yeah, I've, I don't know, I've enjoyed a lot of the new tracks. I don't know, out of the out of something out of the usual, and I get really well adapted to it, so... Yeah, also, Imola, the last, uh, the last one, I like it a lot as well, so yeah, we'll see. Good to go, mate. All right, what I am hearing for for now is that both you and Team Mike still need to sit down for uh, for that final circuit, and uh, we'll make it excited for the viewers and for us as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Congratulations on on today. De definitely damage limitation, so uh, you are still close to Team Mike, and uh, yeah, we will see you guys back next week at Brazil in Telagos. Yes, that's correct. Thank you for watching as well, ladies and gents. This was a very decent race. I think nobody of us expected a uh, let, let, let safe, safety car coming late in the race anymore. Anyways, this uh, it was a good race. I'd love to see this one and do commentary for you guys. We will be back tomorrow at 8 o'clock Central European time. Last week we raced, uh, we raced one hour later. That was because we had sprint weekend of regular Formula 1. But uh, this week we are uh, at our main time again, so yeah, kick clock in at 8 o'clock. Don't miss out on a race tomorrow, because co one will be in action as well, with probably full grid again. For now I want to wish you all uh, a very good evening, and uh, that, that was it for today. Ciao, ciao boys!